Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me on another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be installing a dbrand skin on my rather boring gold iPhone 6 Plus. So this phone is uh, uh, really boring looking now. I've had it for so much, so long that the gold color is just very boring to me. So I decided to put a skin on it. So I have a dbrand skin in purple. So I will be installing the skin and I'm not sure how it's going to turn out because uh, this is a very odd color choice for me. Generally, I go for something like blue or something a little bit more subtle like a black. But to, this time I thought, you know what, let's try something new out. So I have a microfiber cloth here from dbrand and uh, that's about it. Let me put this to the side and I'll show you guys what else you'll need. A cleaning cloth, just some extra microfiber cloths to clean out uh, and make sure that your device is neat. Uh, a, any kind of cleaning solution, generally any kind of uh, glass cleaner or just uh, isopropyl alcohol should do. And just some extra microfiber cloths because you know what, you can never have too many extras. And your hair dryer. Now I will let you guys know one thing, make sure that you don't have any loose items like microfiber cloth and stuff uh, laying around your desk. Put it to the side because once you start using your hair dryer, what will happen is everything will start moving around and uh, you don't want stuff to be pushed off your desk or to fall down while you're working because it gets very annoying. Now another thing I would recommend is that if you're working on a desk make sure that it's clean and uh, I'd also recommend just using maybe a mouse pad or something like this. Just put your mouse pad down and you can uh, be a little bit more confident that you won't be scratching up your device while working on a table. So the first part of this install is going to be cleaning the device. So what, how you want to clean the device is just grab your microfiber cloth, spray a little bit of uh, any kind of solution, isopropyl or glass cleaner onto it, and just clean off your device. Make sure there's no dust on it. Remove any older uh, screen protectors or screen guards you have on the back. Uh, make sure that everything's just clear, there's no dust. And uh, the thing is that if there is dust, it's not too big of an issue, but make sure that there's nothing too big, otherwise it will stick out through the skin and it'll just look uh, very bad. So. Make sure everything's neat, clean, and ready to go. All right, now that we're ready to go, the first step is to... Now, dbrand has a complete walkthrough through on their website, but I've done it a lot of times, so I know the basic stick. So what you're going to want to do is the first step is the skin that's given like this, uh, what you're going to want to do is start to lift it off from the bottom. And you can either start from the top or bottom, your choice. I generally prefer to start from the top because uh, you can align the camera hole perfectly. Otherwise, sometimes it's a little bit harder to align that camera hole. So let me just pick it up. All right. Put it back onto the uh, paper that it's on and just make sure that this camera hole is exposed so that you can set it onto the phone and get it ready to be put on. So let me just do that. Be patient, guys. And you can lift the skin off if you miss uh, so don't worry about that. Just make sure that you everything's aligned and that you can't see any gold or whatever color your phone is. Make sure that uh, once the sticker is placed onto the phone that you can't see anything. It should only be the cutouts because these skins are lasered and machined to stick perfectly. And then what you're going to do is, for the first part, just make sure that you wrap the top around the device. And it might not stick, it's okay. Just make sure that you do as best po a job as possible. Generally what you need to do for the top and the bottom is to heat it up before you have it set down properly. So just make sure that everything near the camera hole is aligned. Push any bubbles or anything outwards. And then what you're gonna do is lift up, make sure that you don't lift up the top part and get the skin out, uh, The I'm sorry, the back sheet out. What you're gonna do is make sure to flip it over and put it on the, uh, put it near the center now. And now what you want to do is use this to align on the bottom. Now what you're going to want to do here is when you align to the bottom, oh, you know what? Let's cancel that. Make sure that you don't put it backwards because it'll be tough to pull it out. Make sure that you use the side, whichever the uh, skin doesn't stick to very well, so that you can pull this out as I'll show you as we move on. So what you want to do is just put it down and. Just make sure everything's setting up right. Now what you want to do is go to the bottom of the phone and align the uh, headphone jack, lightning port, and speaker grills with the skin. There's cutouts here. So what you're going to need to do is maybe, you know, just uh, pull a little bit or adjust these as uh, they won't uh, be exactly 100% perfect now. You're going to have to do a little bit of adjustments as you go. 
Now, if you are, uh, if you if you're doing this for the first time, I recommend you start from the bottom because it's a lot easier to uh, align the holes if you're starting off with a bottom. There's a lot more to do here in terms of the speaker, the uh, lightning jack, and the headphone jack. So just make sure to do that. And always, what you want to do is push from the in to out. So in. Out. So you want to push like that and whenever you're pushing make sure that you're doing it in a flat linear manner You don't want to put too much force on one side and uh, bend it outwards or anything like that All right, so now that that's done. We have the skin somewhat adhered uh, It's okay if it's not completely adhering you're gonna be uh, fixing that in a minute now make sure that uh, What you're gonna to want to do here now. This is the main part We're gonna be pulling it pulling this white tab out and what you're gonna to want to do is hold uh, one finger at the top of the phone, one at the bottom where the uh, uh, little paper thing isn't. And what you want to do is hold pressure there and slowly just kind of shimmy this out of there. Once it's shimmied out, what you're going to want to do is from the center, push outwards. So center, outwards. And the same way for top to bottom and side to side. Center, outwards, and you won't have any issues. If you do it uh, in another way, what you risk is a chance of getting bubbles or something similar in that sense. Now, once everything's aligned, make sure that you can see any of the, uh, you know, borders near the Apple logo. Make sure everything is very neatly applied because if it's not at this stage, you can just lift it up and try again. Once you're done with this, you're not going to be able to lift anything back up because the next step we're going to move on to is heating up uh, the top and bottom corner and having them put down permanently. So what you're going to want to do is grab your hair dryer, and with your hair dryer, you're going to want to. Uh, just put it on the low, uh, a low heat setting and warm up the device. So I'm sorry if you guys missed that. What you're going to want to do is just use the hair dryer and target it towards the uh, top corner. Make sure that you have it nice and hot. And then just, again, center and outward. So in to out, in to out. And uh, what you're going to do is make sure that you can't see any gold here as well. Every It should be uh, covering the uh, all the way up to the glass and uh, they're designed to make sure that it does fit up till there, so make sure it's there. And once it's there, just give it a nice little rub down and make sure it's nice and tight. Now what you're going to do is move to the bottom. So as you guys can see, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it uh, very clearly, but what we have is that uh, the skin is not completely on the device. It's a little bit, uh, uh, you know, there's stuff kind of uh, peeling off. This is going to be fixed with the heat. So again, what I'm going to do is... Put on my hair dryer, blast a little bit of heat over here for you know about three to five seconds, maybe ten seconds at the most, and then rub it and make sure that everything aligns perfectly. Uh, make sure that you you can use uh, you know a little bit of force to stretch the uh, skin. Make sure you just uh, that you don't use too much force. Otherwise, what will happen is it will become too extended and then it'll overlap onto the glass, which you don't want. All right, now that that's heated up, what you're gonna want to do is uh, again, upwards and out, upwards and out. And make sure that everything is getting covered as you need to, uh, and there's absolutely no overlap. Well, the best way to go is to make sure that, uh, you know, that the phone is covered all the way to the edge and that you can only see glass. You see none of the phone's color. So since I have a gold phone, I'm looking for the gold outline here. And as far as I can see, I don't see any of the gold outline. And... That means that you've done a good job. Now, the holes are a little bit tough to align. I generally see that the speaker holes don't all get 100% aligned, but they're there. And I think that, uh, you know, you can lift it up and try again. It's not too big of a deal. So let's move on to the next part of this process where I will be heating up the four corners here and uh, putting placing them down so that the uh, they adhere to the curve of the phone. So since this is a curved phone, it's a little bit different from the usual uh, just flat surface. You have to get these curved surfaces down as well. And the only way to really do that is with heat. So just go one by one on each corner, uh, apply heat, press it down, and then just keep moving on and do all four corners. So let's skip forward once I've done this. So there we go. Uh, I've pushed down all four corners, and now this is what the device will look like from the front and the back. So uh, what you're going to have now is a lot more of a flush kind of uh, setting here. Make sure that uh, you know everything is well placed down and there's no bubbles now. Uh, if there are bubbles, just gently push it outwards and you should be good to go. Now the next part is we're going to heat up uh, either of the sides. You can start with either side, it doesn't really matter. 
And here, the trick to get the perfect placement is start off by the uh, buttons and the logo. So make sure that the, uh, what you're going to do is heat it up and start with the button. So the uh, power button here and SIM card tray are over here. What you're going to want to do is make sure that you align the holes for these properly so that they can be usable without any hindrance from, uh, you know, the skin. And what I'm going to be doing is just heat it up as you did previously, and it should be very simple to align them. So, All right, so now that we have both the uh, sides placed down firmly and securely, we're going to move on to these corners. Now, the corners are the trickiest part of the curved install because you have to, it's a lot of trial and error, to be very honest with you guys. There's no uh, very like clear method to do it on the first try. You're going to have to do a little bit of trial and error. The idea here is that you have to line up this with this edge. So your guide should be that you, uh, you know, just use these edges as your guideline. You want to make a perfect uh, match here. And the best part about these is that you can kind of heat them up, stretch them out uh, as you need. And if you stretch it out a little bit, just leave it and it will kind of uh, shorten down back to a normal size. And then you can just keep adjusting it as you need. So you can try, you can keep doing these until you get it right. Uh, generally, in my experience, it takes one to two tries at least. Uh, and on the first time you do an install like this, at least three to four tries before you can nail down the corners. So what you're going to want to do, same thing. Just uh, put the put some heat on the corners and you can start. So let me just do that. And I'm not going to uh, bore you with the uh, details now. I'm just going to do it quickly and then show you the final product. All right, guys. So that's about it. Uh, now that the skin is on, you're going to have to do the next most important step, which is to grab the uh, microfiber cloth that you got from Dbrand. And we're basically going to be sanding down the edges and everything to make sure that they are uh, flush with the device and don't kind of poke out. So start off with uh, the sides. Where you're, what I usually do is just kind of rub it constantly for a couple of seconds, get it nice and warm. The friction wears down the skin to make sure that it kind of feels very smooth with a glass. And uh, repeat the same process for the top and uh, the corners over here so that they're kind of flush. So let me just do that very quickly. And boom. With that, we have finished the dbrand skin install for the iPhone 6 Plus. So let me know what you guys think about the final finish of this. As you guys can see, it took me about uh, 15 to 20 minutes to get this done from start to finish. Now, I have done this a few times, so it took me a little, I, I wasn't as slow. But if you're doing it for, for the first time, take your time and uh, don't be afraid to start over. You know, if you if you feel like the fitment isn't right, uh, you know, at, this, at some point, just kind of lift it back up. And don't be afraid to try it again until you get that perfect fitment. Because once it's on, then you really can't do anything. But before you have everything in place, you still have a lot of uh, room for improvement if you need it to be so. That's a wrap for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more content coming like this, a lot more tutorials and install videos. So be sure to check out my channel for other videos like this. Uh, follow me on social media where I uploaded all the behind the scenes stuff of this video and generally all the videos that I work on. All the links are down below. Be sure to follow me there. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.